Hey folks, Will Brink, uh, www.brinkzone.com, and uh, I want to answer a, a really interesting question that I got the other day. You know, I get a lot of emails and posts on my YouTube and such, and to be honest, you know, they're often the same questions, but once in a while I get a really unique question that uh, actually throws me. And uh, somebody sent me an email the other day that asked if taking creatine sent a, a basically a signal to your cells that they had adequate energy, would you burn less calories? And I never thought of that. I have to say that was a very unique question. Um, and intrinsically, I understand where the person was coming from. It sort of makes sense. Food, obviously, at the end of the day, gives you glycogen and it gives you ATP and energy. It sends a signal to the cells that you have adequate food and such. And so his question was, if I take creatine, am I, am I sending a, a signal to my cells that I have adequate uh, calories and I end up with a slower metabolism? And I have to say, like I say, it's a very interesting thought process. The answer is no. It does not appear to be the case. Uh, if anything, creatine is probably a net positive uh, when you're dieting. There isn't a lot of data, to be honest. There isn't a lot of study. I mean, when you study creatine, is to look at performance and strength, and a lot of the health benefits of creatine, don't forget. But uh, for weight loss specifically, there's not a lot of data. But I will say that the, there's a piles of data in general as far as what creatine does and how it works. and. Uh, if anything, is probably a net positive to dieting as far as the signals that it sends uh, overall metabolically. It improves insulin sensitivity. Uh, it probably has some indirect hormonal effects. Uh, it apparently uh, upregulates IGF-1. So on paper, there's a lot of physiological reasons that creatine really should still be a net positive. And again, in the real world, I know a whole bunch of people uh, competitive bodybuilders who get down to very lean, uh, very lean, low body fat levels. Competitive athletes, what have you, that have used creatine right to the day of their show um, and have had no problem. So, from a world, real world perspective, again, we don't see uh, anything that would indicate that using creatine would send some sort of signal uh, and slow your metabolism down, i.e., telling your cells you have enough energy coming in and things need to slow down. But I thought that was a very original question and one. All the years of, of researching creatine and writing about creatine and doing creatine videos that I had not heard. So that's the answer to that question. It may even be an answer to a question you never thought of. Uh, but there you have it. And uh, if this helped, uh, please hit the like buttons. And I recommend you uh, join this channel, subscribe, because as you can see, I uh, give away quite a bit of insider knowledge. I've been in the industry a long time. And if you like that type of stuff, this is the channel for you. And I'll see you all on the Brink Zone.